I would like you to imagine you are a rose bush. What kind of rose bush are you? Would you be a large rose bush? Would you be sitting in a pot or out amongst other rose bushes or just alone? Does it sit in a lawn, somebody's garden, with a house? Or are you just a wild rose bush that grabs everything from nature what it can? When I'm actually doing the artwork, I find it very therapeutic. I get lost in the moment and I'm really not sure where I'm going with it. And then all of a sudden, I get these aha moments where I suddenly realise, well, this does relate back to what's happening in my life now. So really the trick of art therapy is not what we're thinking about the image, it's what we, what we are seeing. That's when the unconscious gets verbalised. The unconscious content comes out by just describing. Visualise the unconsciousness like an iceberg. This is where the unconscious content is. This is where the conscious content is. So basically what I'm trying to do with my students is to take them on a journey. So as they're doing the course, they have to look at themselves, what's going on for them, what they're experiencing, what's right with their life, what's wrong with their life, how can they change it. And as they're looking deep inside themselves and understanding themselves better, they're developing into really good clinicians. It takes practice and that's why working with somebody else is really, really good because you get to do both. You get to be the client who's, you've done the picture and then, you know, you're um, expressing what you see in it and then you get to be the therapist as well. So you see the two sides of that and it really is helpful to do it that way. It is a really effective and really good experiential learning. Yeah, you get to see the theory in application. You get to see Rob not just as a teacher but also as an art therapist. You see him in action um, and also you get to learn from other students. Like you get to see different techniques applied, what's wrong, what's, um, you know, what's, what's working. So it's really effective in that way. You have done a picture together and this is the result. So when we now explore the picture, you're going to uncover what's happening for you or what happened for you in this process with this image. Once you become aware of that, you can change it. And that's the exciting part of this because we, we are not stuck in that role. We don't have to be stuck in the roles we play. Many of my students are psychologists, clinical psychologists, social workers, counsellors. A lot of them are artists, but as they go with the course and get to the diploma level, they become quite confident. And they learn to understand, I don't need to have answers. I need to create a safe place where people can draw, express themselves, and get their own insights. So I've got a really large rose bush and the smaller one, it's like they're, this one's protecting this one. What I really love about teaching art therapy is that my students are getting the tools to help other people make this world a better place and have a job that is really meaningful to them. Mm -hmm.